Hi ladies, it's Jana here. I just want to show you how to mix some colors. I thought it was a great time being that it's springtime. So I'm going to start out right now. I'm going to do kind of like a light blue and um, I'm going to take my lovey dovey. I find white is the most common color I use when mixing colors. It just makes a softer color. So you're Depending on how many nails you're going to do with this will depend on how much um, polish you want to put on your mat. So I'm just rolling my polish here. You don't want to get any bubbles in it, so you don't want to shake your polish. You want to make sure you're rolling it. Then I'm just going to put a little bit of Lily of the Nile, our periwinkle blue. I'm just gonna put it right beside. You don't usually need a lot of um, the darker color that you're using. I mean, it depends how light you wanna go and stuff, but. Oh, that's looking really pretty. I'm just gonna try and add a tiny little bit of Siren Seduction just because it's not exactly the color I want. So I'm just gonna do like a tiny, tiny drop. I'm gonna do a little bit more of that and again it's just all plain like whatever colors you think would be nice I know one lady on my page she did Seacrest with um, lemon meringue and got a beautiful mint green so yeah you can just play along play around with all your colors and until you find what you like the best. I'm starting to really like this color. So the way that you can apply this is by either taking a, a brush from your creativity set or you can um, actually use like the darker color, the brush, and it won't ruin it. So I'm just gonna prep my nail here and you're just gonna buff the shine off. Like you don't wanna um, take a lot off because that'll actually harm your nail and it'll make it split so you just want the shine off just like that and then I'm going to take a cleanser pad wipe it off and I really like um, putting my cleanser pad actually back inside I find that way I can use it throughout my whole mani. There we go. And then I'm not using a whole bunch of brushes all at once, or a whole bunch of cleanser pads all at once. So what I like to do is, see you can see the difference there, what color we've made. But you can just go and clean off this brush. Completely. So you just want to make sure everything's off of it and then you can just go and scoop up your new color and apply it oh my goodness it's it is gorgeous and you want to make sure you're capping and if you find your nails are short as mine are right now you can actually just kind of drag the brush backwards over and then go back and like even it out there and just like that I will stick it in to cure it and 
Okay, so that's been cured now for the 45 seconds. And I'm just going to do another coat of it as well, just because it's not as covered. Normally our lighter polishes, we do have to do two coats. And each time you do a layer, make sure you are capping your nail. Wow, I really made a... I'm loving this color, it's beautiful. And before I put it in the lamp, I just want to wipe it off. There we go. All right, and there we go. It's all finished. And how gorgeous is that? And how simple. Mixing colors is so easy. And if you don't have the mat, you could also just put out like a plastic plate or some saran wrap, tin foil, whatever you kind of have handy. And I'm actually going to use this on a couple other nails and I'll show you ladies what my mani turns out to look like.